People sometimes find themselves divided into camps, often unconsciously, sometimes by choice, sometimes both somehow. As someone who makes content for the internet, I'm in a position where I must parse hundreds of incoming comments, and I do actually read them. Some might think that's a recipe for misanthropy, but I rather think it's a chance to observe these camps, how people fall into them, and what mindsets and biases might lead to choosing a side. It can sometimes be unfortunate, but human beings care deeply about being right, and they perhaps care more deeply about whether others believe they're right. This is part of why we group into tribes, and even micro-tribes, based on everything from our media preferences to our ideological beliefs. I'm no stranger to holding unusual opinions, but it's often the case that folks simply pick a tribe because they feel safe. It's safe to attack this certain kind of person, it's safe to mock this certain idea, it's safe to enjoy this thing but not that thing, only because you won't be seen as strange for your beliefs and proclivities. Individuals can also choose sides independent of whether they even understand the side they've chosen, which often has cascading side effects. A lot of people click on my videos about media that are clearly opinionated toward one vague idea or another, sometimes influenced by the thumbnail or title, and those people instantly assume I believe it's good or bad for the same reasons they do, without engaging with the actual arguments I provide. This speaks to a difficulty in seeing outside of one's own perception, I think. Outside of one's own bubble. For example, I dumpster dive. I gave an unfavorable review to the episode where Izzy Moonbow from My Little Pony also dumpster dives. I explain in the video that this is not because I think dumpster diving is bad. It's just because I think Izzy is a lunatic who tackles people to the ground and rips their earrings off, which I don't think is a good character trait. It sours the episode for me. I even spend some time detailing that I personally enjoy dumpster diving, and I express that a children's show featuring such content is refreshing. In spite of this, the video has seen its fair share of commenters who either A. Believe that because I disliked the episode, I believe dumpster diving is bad and gross, and therefore agree with them, or B. Believe that because I disliked the episode, I believe dumpster diving is bad and gross, and therefore disagree with them. Neither of those are true. Sometimes people seem to delete their posts after I point out they missed the context, sometimes not. But in general, people don't fancy context anyway. They look for kin, like-minded individuals, so they can feel justified in their own convictions, as we are all social creatures, after all. Being aware of that, and being sure to remind ourselves that it's okay to be an individual who has nuanced, unique opinions on a subject will help facilitate deeper and more understanding relationships with the people in our lives. Search for the context, embrace your individuality, and don't be afraid to engage intellectually with ideas or people different from you.